Comment below if you know what that was. <laughs> Nobody knows what that was. That's Kenzie forgetting something and making us late. Which is crazy. That like literally never happens. So this guy reached out to us on Facebook. They got a Facebook message. <laughs> yeah. And we we don't know if it's real or not. We think it is, but this could very much be just like a fan tricking us into meeting him and giving him our phone number. <laughs> but allegedly, someone at DreamWorks is a fan of ours and wanted to give us a tour of the place. So we're heading to DreamWorks Studios and we're gonna take a look around, poke our heads in. We're gonna be in the next DreamWorks movie. What if this isn't even DreamWorks at all? Like, what if this is just his apartment and we're just gonna die? What if we're gonna die? Oh, look, DreamWorks. Thank you. Will there ever be a vlog where I'm not wearing this hat? No. Just change the camping up. You just ready to hit past that archway. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, you, guys. you, you too. too. What a nice guy. That security guard was like almost as nice as Disney security guards. How are you doing? Hey. I learned DreamWorks employees eat really well. Wow, and they have like even... Oh, I love seeing the process of how they just evolved. These were the designs for Toothless because what happened was, if you read the books, um, Toothless in the books is a really small dragon that um, actually is toothless, that doesn't have any teeth. Oh, and, that's so cute. Um, Hiccup is similar to in the movie where he's a little bit you know, geeky. And yeah. so together they're super geeky and, and yeah. you know, but they figure out a way to, to overcome the odds of the, of the tribe in the books. That's and so cool. at some point during the process of Dragons 1, there was a decision made that, you know, this thing is, shouldn't be the main dragon. dragon. Um, so they designed... Oh, I love the toothless so they that they chose instead. This toothless, and they actually used a bunch of those little guys as, you know, little humorous dragons for yeah. the movie. Later, David. Very Those, wait, wait, wait. We took the stairs. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. Gotta go this way. That was actually super cool. Yeah, we couldn't film as much as we wanted to because secrets. But Too many DreamWorks secrets. Yeah, we found out so many secrets. We know everything. They're all in here. They're all in here. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I feel like the worst part about getting a goodie bag unexpectedly is that you can't just open it right in front of the person. You have to be like, thank you. And then the entire time you're holding it, you're like, I want to know what's in here. <laughs> Look at this. Nice guy. Gave us some DVDs of DreamWorks stuff. Which, by the way, How to Train Your Dragon is probably my favorite. What's behind that? Oh, that's Shrek. Got some Shrek. What did you think it was? I thought that it was an, unre just... I thought it was an unreleased Trolls movie. Oh. And a dragon medallion. You gotta wear that. I gotta wear it. Oh my gosh, I think it lights, I think it lights up. Oh, of course it does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What would it be the point of a dragon medallion that doesn't light up? Bye, DreamWorks! Bye, DreamWorks! Hey, uh, instead of going straight home, 
Do you want to go get some Rita's instead? 